Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in legendary Iron Man land of a heavily modded campaign. 90 plus mods, double enemy squad size and yellow alert are just amongst a few of them plus of course a couple of additional factions. The bandits and the elders are two of those factions and we're going to see them in the next mission. Operation Death Dragon is a very difficult mission where we're trying to rescue the ex-wife of, uh, of inappropriate Murphy, called Mary Murphy. Uh, and uh, indeed, they were not having a good uh, divorce. He's still quite mad about her, which is the reason why we're not bringing him onto this mission. Instead, it's going to be Enders, Zirkim, Ataxia, Implacable, Russ and Bubbles, so kind of the B team. I am... Uh, sort of debating with myself if I want to not use the primary gear but we're still in the mid game and I feel I will at least get out of here if not this would be a massive setback as our primary weapons are all on these characters and like I mentioned soon ish I will need to transfer that gear over but for now I think we're still fine uh, we do have implacable um, with the bio vest and the shield which is great and a bit um, extra damage with these tail and rounds bubble and zirkim for cover removal and shredding plenty of grenades in that case we got endors um, with armor penetrating rounds finally and we got Russ with death from above and our strongest uh, additional damage uh, um, uh, ammunition so that he hopefully will deal enough with that uh, with that weapon i am considering if we should give ross kind of uh, that armor instead but i think overall he's out of one shot range and we can always heal back up do all specialists are very efficient in the way that they are uh, just healing and getting hit points back and eight mad kits should be plenty to keep us in the fight so that's great let's see how well i can uh, i can actually pull this off uh, or if we're facing a major setback good we just landed low ground and in a corner that's not good we got a nasty building over here, not really easy to get on top of it. And we got kind of a back alley, alley to get to here. This building of course is nicer, but in order to get there I fear we might be triggering quite a few enemies. My instinct tells me, let's try to get the high ground here and fight through this building. There is a street, back alley rather, and another building. Alright, so first things first. Bubble takes half cover. That seems to work out well. Good. So far, so good. Moving to position. Uh, I'm going. Is it clear? I want to be a bit careful because we have no scout La via libera. and are pretty exposed. Typically, I would double, uh, uh, double move. I'm sure if that's the right call here. There's a potential hack. Oh, that is a lifesaver. Okay, that is incredibly valuable. That is incredibly valuable. We should not mess that up. Uh, 
I wish we had Phantom. Can't push forward. Let's let's take it slow for once. There's a lot on the line here. I don't want to lose the equipment. Maybe a group of enemies runs into us. Who knows? Can hear a couple of purge units and nearby. Bandits are moving. That's the other two factions. Okay, cool. Well, first turn worked like a charm. Implacable. Moves up, tries to find that sweet spot. Yelling will alert the enemies. That's what yellow alert does. I want to push a bit further. Alright, double move for some of our uh, um, operatives. Okay, cool. So we do have a few Overwatch shots left over. And we have moved a bit further than just a normal movement. We heard yelling, so I suspect enemies will come from the north. That sweet, sweet high ground is just waiting for us. That's pretty tense. Come on. Where where are the enemies? Okay, so bubble moves up. Nothing can only suspect that we're going to see a massive amount of enemies next uh, next uh, next section here no one so far good i think we're just double moving Keeping, keeping it really safe here. All right, I'll go. Le vale la pena. On Overwatch. Again, a couple of Overwatch uh, shots. Overwatch. I might be a bit too slow. Tell you from next turn onwards, no more, no more slow moves. We need to push. Alright, Ataxia All right, potentially pulls someone. You kidding me? No one? Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. Uh, it's just strange. Mi muovo. 
But Russ keeps well in range of uh, that tower here. Want to be able to hack it from there. Good. That uh, squad point recovery can come in incredibly handy. Mary moves further. And implacable. Moves to here and does shield wall. All right, Overwatch, Overwatch, Anchor down. Good, we can even hack from here. Great, another Overwatch. Cool. So far, so good. Still waiting for that first enemy pack to arrive. Extremely suspicious that we haven't really found anyone. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. That's a nasty looking mutant. I love the model. That guy looks awesome. Mutant Devastator. Well, he definitely looks like a Devastator to me. You will regret your Group of bandits over there. Okay, cool. Look at that. Another group of enemies right here in the middle. See, I said it was suspicious. And there's another pack right here. Holy. And maybe even another pack. What is that? What's that uber large Berserker Omega? What is a Berserker Omega? I'm not sure if I really want to find out. That does not look good. Sectored Prime. Uh oh. Saiken, I think you've bit up more than you can chew, my dude. Oh, <laughs> okay. Bandit's turn. That skirmisher is doing God's work. Killing the advent captain. Good job. Yeah, slowly but surely the bandits are ramping up. I, I would say the bandits are an okay faction. In a normal game, if you look for a third party faction, um, the raiders, how they are called, that's actually a really decent addition to the game. Potentially the by far easiest enemies in in our XCOM campaign here. Which is why they are always taking the brunt of all of the attacks, right? Oh, okay, cool, good. So, what do we have? We have a few options for lightning hands. And if we were to move over sort of here, would be even better. Okay, cool. Good. So, again, first things first. 
Zirgum is supposed to be our tank. So putting him into the front. Can hit a few enemies, but not all of them. I think that would be a good grenade. Removes cover and uh, hits a few of them. Good, very good. Babo um, doesn't need to stay on high ground. Matter of fact, I think I want a bit more aggressive positioning. Full cover, good, like it. I think this here is better, the guy down here is already heavily injured. Just taking away the remaining options to hide, really. What's his hacking chance? Okay, good enough. Good enough. That's our backup plan. Alright, the taxi. Gets over here and makes room. Still can hack. Very good. Good. Five points of damage. Easy. Lighting hands to get him a little bit further down. Good, we could. Help Zirkim further, or we could uh, continue the onslaught. What else? That mutant devastator is still there. Part of me really doesn't want to find out what that guy does. Part of me wants to find out what he does. Target 
Good. Unfortunately, we're out of ammunition. I think we do not yet need uh, that uh, that refund. Not yet. Moving over here. Half cover only. Full cover here wouldn't be bad. We don't have... We don't have... Um, Blade Storm yet. High ground isn't bad. That could be an option. But we gotta be careful not to push too far. This guy here is poisoned. So he should die. We still don't have anything... Any way of dealing with that uh, Devastator. Good run and gun. Let's try to get that mutant. Implacable charges in. Alright, come on. Wow. He really dodged that. What a shame. We want to get our use our j get out of jail card. Ah, that guy looks threatening. I believe we should do it. Let's not take damage at the beginning. I I still don't know what the berserk or omega is doing. But here we go. Good. Fantastic. And yeah, we could we could use uh, the flashbang if uh, that's really really needed. For now, I think I'd prefer the other alternative, which is getting that devastator down. Zirkum marks him, shreds him. Ataxia um, helps Zirkim with an aid protocol. And then it will uh, he will attack the mutant devastator himself. But not before Bubble begins to reload and shred him further. Mary Murphy is just trying to hunker down, really. Good, that guy is almost down. 10 points. Very well. I like it.
Okay, so... Moving up, implacable. Nice, 15 points of critical damage. Russ moves up. And time to use death from above to get both of these guys down. Okay, so I think this here is a better position for next round to continue sniping. And just one overwatch. Good. No. Yet another devastator. Do we just have two addition two devastators? Holy. That's the point where I wish we wouldn't have nerfed the repeater and could actually kill these guys just with one shot. All right, cool. Russ has just lost cover thanks to the purifier. <laughs> the Berserker Omega. Okay. Omega War Cry. Oh, what? Plasma Quake? What is happening? The Dark Elders have found their true master, the Berserker Omega. Wow. Every single one of uh, them gets a free shot. Oh, perfect. And now he's burning. Oh boy. This time the bandits are actually doing better than the Dark Elders. I can't believe my eyes. Okay, as I'm narrating that, and they are being killed. Okay, so first lesson, don't fuck around with the Berserker Omega. Just don't. It seems like an unwise plan. Mutant moves up. What? And just not only removes cover, but... Oh boy. Advent is shitting on these other factions. It's getting completely out of hand. I think they've almost killed the entirety of the Dark, uh, the dark Elders. And it's barely a few bandits left over at this point. Yeah, focusing the least important enemy. <laughs> and the reinforcements. No! are happening directly in us. <sighs> oh. 
Okay, I need to think. That is not good. None of this here is good. Okay, so... Let's take a good look. What are we going to do? We do have a problem, right? I mean, all of this here is crazy. But being in the middle of that uh, reinforcement pack, they will potentially come in, either jump down here, get up here, or jump down here, and then we're sandwiched, and we cannot let that happen. So I'm wondering... If I was to go to here... Could try to hit that mutant <coughs> captain. The elite assassin is a problem as well, but we might be able to deal with him. Good. Those devastators are still far enough away. I think Implacable should take the majority of the dam uh, of the damage here. So if we put him here, that is flankable from this side. But if we can kill the mutant captain, we should be fine. No problem, boss. All right, let's set up the mutant captain. But we could move after after moving here <clears throat> we still uh, we could we would be seeing uh, the sectored puppeteer up here now i think we really need the damage All right, I'll go. moving in That, that, and the puppeteer. Let's get that captain first. Not good. Hair trigger. Alright, let's fully move over. Russ needs the high ground in order to be effective next turn. Time to move out. Again, Zirkim. Let's hit that mutant. Very well, down to five hit points. All right, team working over. Good, unfortunately not implacable. Zirkim takes another turn. And let's get that assassin down. Hair trigger, which is fantastic. The puppeteer is a problem. But we cannot just let him stand there. Oh, nice. Such a, such a good um, turn of events. 
Anders moves over. And Ataxia begins to move over as well. My hope is that we can take that left flank before this massive pile of hit points. The the many, many Berserkers are coming in. And maybe if we play our cards right, they will fight against the Dark Elders. Oh yeah, well, now we have Psionic Rippling, whatever that means. Nice sound, by the way, I really like it. Very, very solid, like, oomph sound when he's shooting. Not sure what that Psionic Rippling is doing, but it can't be good. <laughs> the Omega Berserker just doesn't take no for an answer. Oh boy. Wow. Well, we're losing armor and health. Quite rapidly. Luckily, Implacable can be healed back up. So far, we're okay. All right, I think well, he missed. Okay, whatever that was. Maybe that psionic rippling, maybe it is a buff. Interesting, okay. Good, Dark Elders are coming in, and I hope that they will find their new friends most entertaining. Alright, many, many hit points, and the Dark Elders seem to have just arrived in time. Fantastic. Wow, nine damage plus acid burn. Oh, okay, Sonic Rippling is a dot. Okay, not cool. Does it take away that Sonic Rippling? No. Hmm. Could move up, uh, but I don't know what we're dealing with on that side. <clears throat> Look, what we can do is we could switch sides and simply go over here. Wouldn't be the worst idea, I think. I think that's not a bad idea, to be honest. Let them fight, and we could take the high ground, move over, or run around from the back. And there's a ladder here, so all we need to do is really fight through that elite sector here.
we would be very far away. Let's explore if that is doable. Seems okay. Alright, moving up here with Russ. I still would need healing on Implacable. Good, we're in the in the okay zone again. Way too little health beforehand, but now it's sort of okay. Could move all the way up to here. Or for now here, which should be fine as well. High ground. Mary just runs away. Attacks here. It's only half cover, but it is pretty far away. I like that. Sirkim moves all the way over there. And I mean, we can take Anders over here, or we can take him up here. I think we'll take this because it's a better aiming angle. If anyone opposes us, we could um, hit him. Good. Just avoiding the carnage here. All we need to do is get out. Not sure if we can fight through that amount of enemy hit points. Specifically something like the Omni Berserker. That was just crazy, 40 hit points or whatnot in the first round. <laughs> that sound did not so uh, did not sound like something that would normally do. Wow, 11 points of damage plus a rippling. Those mutants are nasty. 11 points of damage. And they do have run and gun. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Luckily... Luckily, it's the Dark Elders that is taking that damage. All right, time for the elders to retaliate. Sonic Rippling apparently jumps over to the ne uh, to the nearest uh, mm, target. Omega Berserker just has been stunned. That is great. Good job. The Succubus is fantastic. Oh, and five, six uh, disoriented. Couldn't be happier. Yep. The Dark Elders are not taking shit from the mutants, that's for sure. Oh boy. This is uh, becoming an even fight. Weapon disabled, shield removed. Rippling eh, was still going.
But we got a skirmisher and another assassin there. All right. I mean, look. Plenty of enemies around. Could hit that sector, right? Could hit the skirmisher. Oh, there's a zombie up here. Okay, cool. Uh, there's another assassin close. Good, we could move up. Kirkim has plenty of health, uh, so even if Overwatch would hit him, he would be fine. I believe this guy here is a bit more dangerous. Okay, so... Still moving up. We could explode that. Good. Taxia is simply running. Trying to get as far away as possible. He was falling a bit behind. Yeah, I don't want to kill a mutant. I want to make sure that we are dealing with these guys here. Eight points of health. Hmm. At some point we need to reload, so might as well do that now. Would hit him. We still got do not have implacable. If we had that, this here would be easy peasy. But uh, we're unfortunately standing in the open. I don't want that. So let's just try to hit him. Unfortunately, that didn't go fully according to plan. However, he's now down to four hit points, which means moving to here and then using our pistol should be good enough to kill him. Very nice. Good shot. That might not trigger Overwatch. Not sure. It may or may not. Ah. It did, but okay, whatever.
So this should be a kill. Move to here, but that would be dangerous. Hmm. I like Ross's high, uh, death from above. You gotta be careful here. These guys are all basically taken out, and I don't want to offer them too many targets. So that should only show us the zombie. Yep, okay. And instead of shooting him, let's reload because I will regret not having enough ammunition if we really need to death, uh, use death from above. Okay, they are currently disoriented. Couldn't be better for us. <laughs> he missed his grenade. Close. That could have been deadly. Those guys are hitting for up to 10. That still has cover. At least I think so. Okay. Lots of them are blinded slash disoriented. All right, shields are removed. Fantastic. Let's see what the Dark Elders have to say. Stunned for six rounds. That Omega Berserker is not going to like it. Nasty su Succubus. Wow. The others are doing a reasonably good job to deal with all of the admin almost starting to think that they have the upper hand now we just need to make sure that we're not getting squished but instead that we're essentially trying to just move over Kill a couple, use the full cover, and then get the hell out of here. Okay, so let's just try to reload. 
Still got a couple of turns left, so we should be fine. If I'm just removing all of this, we should be okay, as long as I'm not removing the actual extraction uh, zone. Good, fantastic. Lots of damage for comparably little effort. Gotta move up. And let's get this guy. Really? Graced him? Oh, come on. All right, moving up, come on. That's a hit, and we can ignore the rest for now. Lightning hands. Nice, very nice. So Endors continues to move up. I just really want to make sure that we're being okay. Good, we're continuing to move up. Bubble needs that extra heal. Currently, the VIP is just staying out of line of sight. Alright, Ataxia moves up. I'm trying to stay out of trouble. Don't know how many hit points the shield bearer has, but I rather move because we're running out of time. See, that's why two um, specialists are actually carrying their weight very nicely. What? What kind? Of, what kind of skill was that? He took so much damage that he's now unloading lightnings. Not good. Not good at all. That was a double move, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, they are certainly trying to hold us up. Okay, apparently someone gave them another shield. Remind me to thank Shen for the armor. 
Yeah, not a problem, really. Good, now it's the Dark Elder's turn. Okay, so far so good. As long as they keep them busy, I am actually okay. Oh, look at that. Melee versus melee. The mutant counter-attacked. So we got the mutant over there. And you know what? I mean... How about we're just freezing him? That'll solve all of the problems. Whilst we're getting out of here. Move to here. That guy could move forward and maybe hit our VIP. This here. Wouldn't be close enough. We need to go to here in order to extract or position our ourselves here. Good, so that should disorient at least one person. All right, cool. Worked like a charm. Good overwatch with implacable. I'm all over it. Russ begins to charge and attacks here. Can we move from here up there? Maybe, but it is more secure to move from here up there. Okay, bit of a risky um, charge. This guy's taken out of commission. The mutant devastators are luckily just really, really busy with being devastators. Good, that's fine. Perfect. Good, that zombie cannot catch up. Well, never mind. That zombie is down. I think we can make it out. 
Dark Elders take another... Oh, wow. Offhand uh, attack for 13 points of damage. The, ge the, the enemies are so overtuned. I would love to just stay and see how both of the factions are doing, because it seems that the Dark Elders are taking... are pretty much taking the advantage here. Russ moves up. Bubble moves up. Texia moves up. Endorus moves up. Our VIP moves up. Implacable moves up. One step short. All right, let's hope Zero Kim gets out of here. Everybody else, evax. Alright, one more turn. Come on. Wow, those devastators are hardcore. And the Omega um, Berserker apparently is back in business. Hits for 13. Alright, let's hope these overwatches will be triggered when more Dark Elders are running in. Alright, very good. One overwatch is triggered. The Dark Elders, as always, fighting against the civilians that's the one thing that this faction i think needs a little bit more tuning towards not just killing civilians unless that is a distinct kind of disadvantage that they are having all right fantastic well see you later guys Wow. Wow. I need to be careful with my equipment. We either need to start skipping some of the missions uh, when we're having kind of a VIP and can't field the main crew, or we need to go in with the uh, within uh, with a better team and try to use kind of disposable equipment. But I can't risk taking the main equipment. I just realized how many hit points we were dealing with. Could have potentially gotten through it, but until the very end we had 14 active enemies. And had I just stayed a bit a uh, bit longer to kill more of them, we might ha uh, would have reduced it further with death from above. But frankly speaking, the Devastators, 40 hit points, 6 armor or no 24 hit points 6 armor and the berserker omega like 40 hit points 8 armor this is so much so much help to, uh, to chuck through that even if we're playing clever i'm not sure if uh, if uh, it's worth risking all of the equipment
Ross here takes Guardian. Really good job. He did fantastic and we don't even have a, P a PCS on him. Got a scientist in Intel. That was important. It was actually an important mission. And the ex-wife of Inappropriate Murphy has made it to the Avenger. Immediately goes to the research bay and ignores Inappropriate Murphy. Well, that was a tough, tough mission. And some of the side goals, by the way, are ticking up quite relentlessly. So we've just gotten the um, New Mexico area back. Could make contact here, AD Intel. I think that's fine. We can, we could do it. We want a tactical analysis because it's such a massive trade for us. Also, when building from here, we have two potential facilities that we could raid. Okay, so an additional dark event that's bad. Sabotage that's also bad. Uh, that is actually okay. So loyalty among thieves, okay. Ultramarine, we still don't know what that is. And recursor is that nasty, nasty um, algorithmic mech slash um, slash spectre unit that can deep clone anyone i really don't want to fight fight that but we're in a situation where it's coming down to ultramarine versus recursor what is ultramarine it sounds bad all of the side events are really really bad so by looking it up ultramarine is Aliens deploy a chrysalid megalodon, a behemoth that spreads panic and chaos. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this sounds bad, this also sounds bad. I mean, if it is a behemoth that spreads panic and chaos, maybe it can be killed. Who knows? We still have an uh, ammo increase, that's fine. Intel is good as well. I think we're fine. We just need better resistance orders. Some of them are really not that good. Good. Sabotage. That's, by the way, one that is really, really good. And we have enough supplies. So next up, we're going to get the breakthrough. And then let's see what else we can do. Fantastic. Improved cannons. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Plus one damage. So. Promotion wouldn't be bad. Um, but I think we would do other uh, things first. Phantom base. So that would be against the raiders. I like the idea of actually starting to uh, take one of those factions out. Counter chosen activity. That's just the income reduction. Not that important. Intel would be okay. That would be good. That wouldn't be bad either. Damage of pistols plus one. We're very, very much going to do that. Facility lead and dodge isn't bad either. And there's another dodge mission. So there are a couple of okay missions. Um, some which are helpful. Like this one here, I think I would like to do the raiders. But we're going to do the breakthrough first. It's a quick one. 
and plus mobility should be helpful if we can get it on any of the rangers Roby is a good option for that And him and inappropriate Murphy could do that mission together. I like it. Improved pistols plus one. That would be good for face off and for several other options, fan fire and so on. Just one extra damage. So I'm trying to get all of uh, the weapon damage bonuses that are helpful. Good. Very good. Next uh, stop is improved shotguns. But before we're doing that, let's take a look at our situation here. I think we have enough supplies to go for Shadow Chamber. Good. I mean, that really isn't true. We have another. Uh, we have another option to upgrade here. Thank you. I'll leave the supplies as is, but the shadow chamber at least will give us some idea of what we're dealing with on the actual mission. Continuing to make contact. See, I would like to get potentially towers now, like a defense matrix. That would be helpful. And Psy uh, chambers would be helpful as well. So psionics is potentially one of the things uh, we would want to get soon-ish. I still need weapon upgrades first. Faceless autopsy, four days, could be a quickie. How many faceless ones do we have for mimic beacons? Because that's another big problem that we're currently having. Uh, where's our faceless? Faceless, faceless. Three. Well, that would be one mimic beacon. Good, but not good, but not uh, just. It doesn't justify uh, going for that research right away. Advent turret would be three days, and then we can build it. So I think that wouldn't be too bad. I think we are going to like squeeze that advent turret breakdown in next to get uh, the defense metrics. I just want us to be safe. When we're being shut down, I need all of uh, the damage. And the towers, the, the defense matrix, prevents one loss condition, which is being shut down and invaded. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Good. Just on our overall situation. Seven more days for Sonar to come back. Once he's back, the main team should gather and then start uh, going for the um, Hunter. That is one less chosen and a lot less and a lot less headaches. Fantastic. Plus one damage there. Okay, before we go into the beam cannon, like I mentioned, I think that quick turret breakdown for only three days, that would be helpful. And then we continue with the beam cannon. Beam cannon would be great. And then the sniper 
the turrets we and then we finally do have all of the weapons upgraded which is a huge step in the right direction Very good. So, 200 supplies. I think we can do that now. We could get supplies if needed. Pistols upgraded. Fantastic. That's great. Now, we wanted to locate the Raider faction, right? Right. So whomever we're putting on that, there is a chance that they will be ambushed and it's 11 days. Can't be someone from the main team. Let's double check. So the other option, the other option would be we're waiting five days until the main team invades uh, the, the base and Whoever has not been damaged afterwards. And we have 14 days, so we could do another mission, a quick one. Something in and around a week. Promotion here isn't bad. That definitely is good. Ten days would be stretching it, but we could do that. Dodge isn't bad. I like it. I would have gotten that to Hogbite plus seven dodge is great. Facility lead. Hmm. Yeah, that would lead to an ambush. Not potentially not worth it right now. This here might be the easiest and most straightforward one. Quick in and out into and the plus one health. Or we're going for another promotion, which isn't bad either. Superior weapon upgrade. I mean, 50 Intel is de facto a superior weapon upgrade. This here is a promotion. This here is permanent plus one health. I think I'm going for the health. Out of all of these options, hmm, that isn't bad either. Do we have soldiers like, how far? Seven days. Do we have soldiers that could actually benefit uh, from that? Roby and Murphy could go to level 2 as a bond. Euler and uh, Dylan could go to the next level. You know what? Why not? Um, six days. Thanks to their higher bond, it's even faster. So let's just do. Uh, let's just give them the mission. Both of them are fine. Nothing that could really go wrong. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Okay, cool. Good, fantastic. That is great. Defense matrix. Deployed build turret provides additional fire support in the field. Okay. Well, we're going with beam cannon next. What exactly is a deployable turret? That sounds incredibly awesome. Sixty supplies and a turret rack. Hmm. 
It is deployed like a grenade thrown to the side where the turret will appear. Wait, that also means Salvo would um, not end the turn? Okay. I don't know yet. That sounds quite strong. Before we're coming up with an opinion here, though, uh, defense matrix 150. Yeah, I need more cash. But I want to start the defense matrix, so. Black market it is. It's a new month anyway, might as well purchase a PCS. All right, Viper Corpse. Frontline Reaper units, Corrupted Batarian. I don't know what we're using those for. But like I mentioned, we are short on supplies, so that actually helps us. In terms of purchasing, superior perception, uh, yes, please. That's another instant buy. And superior conditioning. That's another instant buy as well. Good. Let's take a look. Who could uh, use that extra superior, uh, superior um, perception? We got death from above here on Russ. So I think what we're going to do is we're giving him superior perception. Because death from above is great. But he definitely needs to be able to hit every single time. 120 is fantastic. Superior conditioning. Uh... Roby here does have a PCS uh, with advanced conditioning. Almost all of our grenadiers have superior uh, mm, superior perception, which, which is good. Grell as our main as our main healer should get a superior conditioning even if that overrides the advanced conditioning but getting those extra hit points that's important plus six so she's at 20 want to prevent that she's being one shot All right, so that worked out well. Now, what we still need to do is build that defense matrix. Defense facility construction initiated. Great, 14 days. For what the building is doing, it is an absolute monster building. Uh, once we upgrade it afterwards, we should be really, really good to go. I think the upgrade costs 100, so... Let's get some more funds in here. So what else can we sell? I would like to keep the data pets. Uh, it's potentially corpses that we need to sell. Viper. 
and maybe a few alien alloys. To make it 58. Well, that's a bit too much. Good. 120. Good enough for an upgrade. Let's continue building the relay. If we play our cards right with uh, how far we have expanded, we might get enough income. Like 450 is great. Our research has been delayed by seven days. That's not good. Beam cannon takes longer than before. Good, the main team is ready, which means I'll do two things. Number one, gather them together, and we're invading the um, the Chosen right now, and whoever is alive and can still stand straight afterwards, they will be on the next mission for the headquarter and the promotion uh, to get hopefully someone else from Major to Colonel rank. That would be great. I'm really sorry for the squad is here, Lyrical and Shinrod. Wish we had, uh, we have an option to actually promote you further than Squaddy, but the ga the game is so hard at the moment. Typically, there is kind of that odd one or two missions where you can just bring the Squaddies and maw down a couple of loss, but not even that exists anymore. So, gotta get that prime team together. Uh, hopefully I can upgrade the bonds at some point. And then we're taking out the first faction, the Raiders. Good, very good. Yeah, Maximilian Richter, we need him. Okay, beam cannon still take uh, takes a while. I think uh, it was a calm month so far, so would be great to kill one of uh, the Chosen. That would also give us an awesome sniper to work with. One that is fantastic and would uh, where Death From Above would actually start playing a major, major role. In terms of proving ground, that could uh, pave the way for a Wrath suit. The moment that we got another Alarium core, that could be the right thing to do. Just getting that Wrath uh, suit and the nice little grapple hook for our sniper for high ground. And then with that uh, Death from above, it should trigger really, really well. So I am looking forward once we do have it. Or alternatively, just kill the um, snake. That would also be an option, but they are quite elusive. Anyways, this has been a really, really long um, episode. I thank you for watching, and I thank you for sticking with me for so long. And uh, see you in two days. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.